So earlier you had mentioned uh, you got all uh, younger siblings or whatever. So like, how old are you? Huh? How old are you? I'm 20. <laughs> We're the 21 because I go up there, little one. <laughs> Don't tell about my secret though. So, you know, how is it being so young, but still being the oldest and, you know, it was looking bad. out for your siblings? It was bad because I feel like I set a bad example. <laughs> I really did. And I got all girls. So I feel like I set the bad example because it's like, and now they do what I don't want them to do. But it's like, how can I say something if I just do that around they same time too? That's why I really feel like I wish I would have set a bad example. But I always tell them, like, I want y'all to be better than me. I don't want y'all to be like me. I don't want y'all to follow what I'm doing. Like, they still girly. They don't be on the same type of time as me. It's just a little stuff. But it'd be like, I'll be getting them on the right track. Like, our communication is very good. I talk to my little sisters. I make sure they okay. But, like, mentally, we all not okay. None of my sisters is okay. I'm not okay. We still hurt behind this shit like this shit was yesterday. So is it things you do to uh, cope with people you talk to? Anything like that or anything like that? Do I talk to? Um, I actually just went to go see my mama not too long ago. I went to go smoke with her and shit. That's who I talk to. Like, if I feel like it's too much and I really need to go talk to her, then I go talk to her. And then sometimes I bring my sisters, but I really don't be wanting them to hear what I got to say. Because I don't feel like they, they not, they ain't supposed to hear that. So, yeah, sometimes I talk to my sisters about it, but not nobody really grown. It's just like, I'll cry and know what it'd be to myself though. One thing I noticed, like, I see a lot of people trolling you too. Like, it'd be men, you know, shit like that. Like, how is that knowing, like, you a girl, but it's, it's people that's opposition that's, that's trolling you about, like, what happened? I feel like, I don't get no fun. They gonna do that anyway, that's what I was doing. They been saying shit about me way before I even was this big. So it's just like, that's what people do. That's what I feel like niggas gonna do at the end of the day because of who my mama was and how late she was and how she could go anywhere on the low end, really. So it's like, that's what was gonna come with this shit. When somebody died, they could've been your friend. They gonna say, fuck your friend and all that. That's what come with this shit. But like trolling me, that's irritating though. I don't like it. <laughs> I really don't want to be famous. No more. I don't want to have no clout because I'm tired of it. Like, I don't like, I don't like getting trolled 24 seven. Somebody always got something to say like, I know famous people be like, ugh. Yeah, I was gonna say like, how how is it dealing with that? Like every every few days, or it's every... just always negative. Don't nobody want to hear nothing negative. Like you try to be as positive as you can, and then everybody in your comments just be saying weird shit. Like yeah. that's irritating. I don't like it. I'll be blocking their ass really though. You know that that, that come with this shit though. Like everybody, I ain't say everybody. I feel like everybody that got like real clout for real, you just get random death threats. But I'm gonna be big enough to where I can't see. I ain't yeah. even thinking about. It. So when I get that big, well, I can't see it, I ain't thinking about it, that's, that's cool. Cause right now they, they irritate me, like they get on my nerves that. That's the thing, you always see it. You get bigger mentally, so you act like you don't see it. Like it'd be hard, you know, you would see a lot of shit in the north, but then it'd be that one thing, you're like, well, I'm gonna treat this bitch out. Like, oh my, <laughs> <laughs> Cause I could dodge all the fake pages, yeah. but it'd be that one real page that be talking, they'd be like, why is you talking? Ugh. It's like the it's ones that really like get that to you. Real, like, it be the whole bitch, bro. Why are you talking? It be people you know that make you respond. Yes, that too. Or if you know they goofy, it's like why, why you, you feel talking? like you could even do this? That with? you entitled to even say anything, like yes. <laughs> so you know, coming up as a kid, like, did you have any dreams, shit like that? Like, was yeah. it something you wanted to do? My dream, I always said I wanted to be an entrepreneur, though. I always said I wanted to help homeless people as a kid. I always said like I wanted to build some type of facility for homeless people. That always been my dream. Like even when I was younger, like I used to come to church and I didn't want this school, I used to give it to people that I felt like wanted it or needed it. I always been there. Like I always wanted to be an entrepreneur. I always wanted my own business, but I always wanted to give back as well. Like I always said that I was gonna do that. So I'm really my own business right now. So, and when I get to where I want to be, I'm going to help the home. So, you know, do you feel like you're the underdog in a lot of situations? Yes. I, I, don't, get, I don't get this much equality as everybody else get. Not nah, for sure. I don't like that. Like, I feel like, to be honest, all these other girls ain't even really got shit going on. Like, me and this girl really just paved the way for this game banging bitch type of rapper type shit. <laughs> but it's like, we really got hoods behind us. All these girls, I feel like, is coming out. Where is you from? 
what the what the fuck is you like? Where did you come from? What what is your hood called? Like, I feel like we paved the way, but I don't like how everybody trying to ride the way. Like, there's a lot of pretty girls. I feel like you should just be pretty. Like, you could be a brand ambassador. You could go do cute shit, and hoes just trying to rap too gangster. But it'd be like, where you from? <laughs> I want to ask a lot of hoes like, where you from? What's your odd name? <laughs> For real, even the whole like, thing. Who, who you on tour with? For real though. Hoes they can't tell you, they can't tell you that. But they gonna rap gangster all day. This shit not this shit ain't cute. This shit not even to be cute or nothing like that. Like I just feel like it's a lot of shit that really come with this shit. It's not just about you rapping like you gangster. This shit like a lifestyle. So do you feel like if you was out and like the wrong people seeing you, they'd try something with you? Hell yeah. It's me. That's like a, I'm a head just as well as all the other niggas from my shit. I'm a head just like everybody else. Just because I'm a girl don't mean nothing. They gonna think of that shit as a skull. So we like, hell yeah. So you know, a while back, Melo had this you in that song, Mouse Couture.